and welcome to another JMT video. Today, introducing Franks, the new currency to solve all of your problems. Besides government corruption, let's all say hi to Bubbles. Hi, Bubbles! Bubbles here is the town's new traveling salesman. He is very likable and contains the sweetest attitude. Don't get handsy, though. Bubbles doesn't like it when you steal. I forgot to mention that Bubbles is a serial arsonist who escaped prison a couple years ago and became a psychopath and built his desire to murder and torment bloodshed amongst innocent people. So I wouldn't touch his things. But hey, the past is the past, right? So sit back, relax, and... You don't want anything interrupting your YouTube time, do you? I'm sure there are a bunch of you who have no idea how to get Franks. And before I see any comments that say, Uh, actually, JMT, everyone here knows about Franks. I'm sorry, I didn't know you spoke for everyone. Dumbass. Franks is the new currency that can be used in Bubble Shop. That's where you can purchase and change your class loadouts. You can click the shop button at the top left and that will open up Bubble Shop. He offers a bunch of new goodies and trinkets for you to go ahead and purchase and customize, or also known as weapons and bombs, the classic American experience. The two questions that I see all the time are, how do I earn Franks? And what is the fastest way to earn francs. So let's go ahead and answer those two questions today and solve all of your problems. Number one, earning francs. Francs can be earned by doing pretty much anything in Guts and Black Powder. You get francs for completing objective maps, surviving endless waves, and even murdering the Headless Horseman in Cold Blood. Before I do go ahead and provide any information, I just want to thank Chris for helping me out with the currency and the francs earnings. And also, if anything's incorrect, let's blame Chris, okay? Not me. So here are the lists for everything that you get inside of objective mode, and that is for normal mode and hardcore mode inside of Guts and Black Powder. We have Catacombs, we have Leipzig, San Sebastian, and Vardahus Fortress. If you guys want to go ahead and pause the video and look at all of the Frank's earnings, then please go ahead and do so. I won't get mad at you, but continue the rest of the video, or I will probably stab you. In Endless Mode, you can get Frank's by surviving every five waves, and the more you survive, the more Frank's you get to pocket as well. Here is a list of the Frank's you get every five waves survived in Normal Mode and Hardcore Mode. If you guys want a more in-depth description on how Endless Mode works for the amount of Frank's you get per wave, then here's a short description. In endless mode, francs are earned for every five rounds you survive. However, to increase the incentive to survive, there will be a 0.5 multiplier that is added every 10 rounds, which means your francs will go up by plus five and normal and plus 10 in hardcore. There is a limit for the multiplier and that is at three. So by the 25th round, you will be earning up to 30 to 60 francs depending on the mode because it does get harder as you progress through endless. And then finally, you can earn francs by completing the Halloween event, the Sleepy Hollow Map. In normal mode, you'll get 60 francs and then in hardcore mode, you'll get 80 francs. Now, let's move on. Number two, the fastest way to earn francs. There are a couple of options to grab and bag the most amount of francs quickly, and that being the Sleepy Hollow Loop and Endless Mode, both done in hardcore, since it provides more francs. The Sleepy Hollow Hardcore is the biggest franc earning objective map in the game, offering 80 francs for killing the boss, and it can be done pretty quickly if you don't have a team full of stormtroopers. It is possible to kill the boss before any zombies spawn at all, so make sure you shoot the actual Headless Horseman and not the horse itself because that is its hitbox. And then the better option in my opinion, the option overall is Endless Mode Hardcore. This is by far the best way to earn francs in a swift time. Surviving 5 waves already gives you 20 francs, which is almost the same amount you get for completing Vard Fortress on Normal Mode. It's also pretty much the same amount you get for respawning and completing a Normal Objective Mode on every single map. So let me know what you guys think about this guide in the comment section down below, and if you guys have some other options to go ahead and earn francs quickly, or if there have been some mixed information on the francs overall, because I'm pretty sure Endless is going to be the big thing that's going to be talked about down below with how many francs you actually earn. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me. My name is JMT, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.